Why does it seem like there's a new video of a CEO having a meltdown each week? You may have seen this video of Andy Owen, president and CEO of Miller Null, telling employees to quote, leave pity city when workers asked about their bonuses. Turns out Owen received a bonus worth nearly $4 million last year. She has since apologized for her comments. Or maybe you saw this even more egregious video of James Clark, CEO of ClearLink. In a leaked video, he accused employees of secretly working several jobs, claimed workers should use AI to increase productivity by, quote, 30 to 50 times. He celebrated an employee who sold their dog in order to accommodate his new work from the office policy. He made really strange sexist comments about working mothers, and he revealed that his employees compared him to Gordon Gekko, the villain in the 1987 film Wall Street. And speaking of Gordon Gekko, we love watching angry bosses. The Devil Wears Prada's Miranda Priestly, The Godfather's Vito Corleone, anyone from Horrible Bosses. I think one reason we like watching them so much is because so many of us can relate. Obviously not me, Brendan, you're great. But because so many bosses are throwing absolute temper tantrums right now, specifically over returning to the office and productivity. I spoke with workers who have recently witnessed these kinds of outbursts, and they all painted a pretty similar and honestly embarrassing picture. They told me stories of bosses lashing out, crossing their arms, raising their voices, and refusing to make eye contact. And several told me stories of bosses calling workers things like ungrateful. What confuses me the most about these outbursts is that it's in a CEO's best interest to be respected by their employees and to represent their organizations well. I think this disconnect is in part because CEOs and workers today operate in dramatically different economic realities. Workers are worried about a rising cost of living and keeping a steady job. And CEOs are more invested in the stock market and are therefore more worried about protecting their wealth. Over the past several decades, the CEO to worker pay gap has expanded. S&P 500 CEOs earn an average of $18.3 million each year. That's 324 times more than the average worker. So it's perhaps not surprising that some CEOs are not totally in tune with the economic realities nor the working conditions of the average worker. You might say that a CEO screaming at workers is kind of like the cheerleader on the top of the pyramid screaming at the people holding them up. 